of basically city streets, right? And some of those streets have houses, and some of those houses have house numbers. And so the authors of the dataset came up with a way to like crop those numbers out of the images and then and then basically label them. And let's check it out. Yep, as you can see, it's working. It's three, three, two. As you can see here, it's like label three, label, label three, and label two. Uh, here's the rectangle drone, and here are like its you know labels on top of it. And the same trick works with the test. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ivan here. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to work with the SVHN dataset in Python. Now, the SVHN dataset or the Street View House Numbers dataset is one of the best datasets out there when it comes to working with digits. Whether you want to train your model to classify like single digit numbers like MNIST or whether you want to like train your model to classify multi-digit numbers like I have done and walked away with some great experiences and a good model from this data set. Like this is like this is a data set that you kind of wanna be familiar with if you're planning to do something with like uh, classifying digits, detecting them, and so on. Now, let me talk about a couple of points why this dataset is like so cool. Now, first one, and it's like a big one, and by the, by the name of the dataset, you kind of could have guessed that, you know, it's a Street View House Numbers dataset. So, um, this dataset was scrapped from the real world, so it wasn't like generated, or it wasn't, you know, uh, it wasn't, I, I don't know, I mean, it wasn't generated, so it's, it's, it's got all the properties and all the, like, noises that the real world house numbers, uh, have. And do you know, like, how there are, like, those street view cars from Google, you know, driving around the streets and making those, like, 360, um, photographs of, of, of basically city streets, right? And some of those streets have houses and some of those houses have house numbers and so the authors of the data set came up with a way to like uh to you know basically crop those numbers out of the images and then and then basically labeled them and we uh ended up with um with the data set that we ended up so you know grab the image from from say house then then, and then, then label that image, and this is the, the data set that we've got. Now, another cool thing about this data set is that it's got over 600,000 real world uh, digit images. Now, a, a digit image, what does that mean? You know, the data set has got only 250,000 images, like at all, but it's got 600,000 digit images. And that's basically because there are, you know, images where there are like several digits, like here. And so that kind of explains why there are 250K images at all, but there are like 600K uh, digit, digit images. And you may have also noticed that each each of the digits inside of, inside of the number has a bounding box, which is also, you know, really, really cool because if you want like, test your, I don't know, object detectors and stuff, or like crop uh, digits and like mix them in some clever ways. You can also do that because like each digit has got, uh, it's got a bounding box. So there are two formats of this data set uh, available uh, on the official website. Um, the first format is the one that we'll be using, which like the, that's like uh, all about full numbers and there's also the second format with crop digits, which is more similar to like MNIST, where the images were like kind of cropped to just contain digits. But we're gonna work with, with like full format, and you know, if you wanna uh, crop out just the digits, you know, you'll you'll easily be able to do with the code that you know I'll show you further. And the benefit of like working with the full numbers is that we can train also. We can like use this this uh, data set to train like a multi-digit classifier because you know we will have several digits in one image and labels to, and labels to them. So like there are like two formats, we'll be using the full format. And the uh, dataset is downloaded with like three files. The first file is like train 
uh, Tar Jay Z, uh, Jay Z, Jay Z, I don't know. Um, the test uh, Tar Jay Z and extra Tar Jay Z, and or Jay Z, actually, <laughs> no idea. Tell me in the comments how 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 to pronounce it right. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Anyway, uh, here it says that like the kind of logic behind separating the data set for like training images and testing images it's pretty straightforward but it's also separated from like training images like extra images so the logic there is that it's got uh 73k digits for training and then 500k extra digits and the extra digits are you know, quote unquote, basically somewhat less difficult samples to use as extra for training, to use as extra training data. But you know, as we know, uh, the more data that's labeled and that's good, we give the neural nets, nets then better. So I'll also show you, you know, how we all basically unite the training and the extra data set. So um, I think, I think one more thing that worth mentioning is the distribution of um of of of, of the number of digits in a single image now what that means is like how many uh, images there are there are like with three digits how many images there are like with uh two digits and how many images there are like with five digits and so on but the, the distribution of this data set in terms of uh the amount of digits in a single image so there are 14k images where there's just where the uh, house number is just one digit there are almost 90k images where they're like where the house number number is made up of two digits there are you know 515k uh samples where house number is made up of three images and 15k of four and 124 of five so you can see a really really rapid decrease when it comes to like house numbers in this data set that have uh th th that are made up of like f five digits uh for probably because you know there ain't that many houses there ain't that many streets where the houses are like named in uh and you know what is it like tens of thousands if we're like talking about five digit numbers and there is just one image that has six um, that has like six digits in it. So, yep, that's you know for if we're training something for like multi-digit detection, we're probably sticking with like up to four digits at a time because you know there just ain't that many uh, Im uh, images when it comes to like five and uh, six digit numbers basically. So now uh, about how we actually read this data set now that we know what it's about and you know and and, and now now that you know what it's about you can kind of know that do you need this data set and and when and when you need it so the problem is that to read this data set like when i was trying to read it like it was so freaking frustrating to try to read this data set because the labels were in the math format and uh by searching stack overflow and like github and everything uh how to read this you know i haven't found a good way until i stumbled upon some github rep repository that essentially provided a way to con convert this uh math labels from from these math labels that are inside these archives here uh convert them to J json uh to json format and you know json format can obviously be easily readable in Python. So now that we start to work with this data set, here's how we're gonna do this. I will leave links to uh, these converted converted to JSON labels, um, converted to JSON labels uh, on my Google Drive. So you can go and copy them to like your Google Drive. Uh, I have a video on how to work with call up and google drive i'll leave a link to that in the des description so the first step is like you copying the files to your copying the label files to your google drive and you copy them to like your google drive and then just specify here instead of you know my path to like 
whatever those labels are stored in your computer. And this guy is like digits check extra are like the extra images. Uh, tests are for test and JSON and JSON is uh, for the training images. So yeah, hopefully that's clear. You know, you also have to like mount your Google Drive. If you are not familiar, again, I have a video on how to work with Google Drive and Cola. Anyway, then we go and we download basically from these links the data set to our uh, Google Cola. Luckily, the speeds are pretty good, so it doesn't take much time uh, to get the data into our Cola app. Or like if you're just somewhere in Python, you know, it's, 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 it's good. Uh, we download them, we untire them, define a few functions. Now, and here we begin reading this data set. So the way we do that, we import a JSON, we open up the JSON, the JSON which is the training guy, digit struct extra, which is like the um, extra images and test, digit struct test, gosh, tongue twisters. You know what I mean? Digit struct test for the test images. We print out, you know, an example, and then we, uh, here we print out an example of how, uh, of how data train, of how, of how, you know, the data train zero subject look li looks like. And as you can see, you no, know, that's how it looks like. And then in, in the next uh, couple of lines of code, we just uh, concatenate the file name with the folder. So, you know, when we untar uh, this, so when we untar the data, we'll end up with like extra folder, with test folder, and with the train folder, essentially. And what we do is to just concatenate to the, uh, to, all the labels that we've read to all the file names inside of inside of like the labels to to to, to the lay to the to the images uh file names we just concatenate here uh the folder where they are so like if it's a image from the training data set we uh concatenate here train so you know one that png uh becomes train slash one that png and so on so essentially these three lines of code just make sure that we can easily uh address the, the 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 training images so yeah and that's about all the boring stuff here now let's actually get the fun stuff we also you know learned that the no that's actually not it <laughs> sorry uh one last thing one last thing we define data list as as a, as the sum of da data train and data extra so our data list will be all the training images plus all the extra images. So, and our and the length of the data list will be 235k images, and the data test you know will will be left untouched, so that, so that we can then you know test the performance of our models without overfitting overfitting on the test data set. So yeah, that now that was uh, all of the boring stuff here. N now let's get the fun stuff. Um, Let's actually play around with it. So here, let's say we want to address the zero guy on the data data list. Let's check it out. Yep, as you can see, it's working. And here, I basically, define the code that um, where we select an item from that list, we open up the image following the path um, with uh, OpenCV, and then, as you can see here, we print the item. And here's how the label looks like. We've got the file name, which is which we've modified so that you know it's like train slash one that PNG. Uh, we've got it, its boxes. Now boxes is where both the labels for what's written in the image and the bounded boxes for the image. So here's what I mean. See this. This is the house number, which is like, you know, 19, and it's got the height. I mean, I mean, I mean, in its uh, in its element of boxes, it's got two two guys here basically. One guy is for one, and the other guy is for nine. So when it comes to the guy for one, 
we've got its bounding in box coordinates and for, when it comes to the guy from nine we've got the same and here you can see the label is one and here the label is nine now the interesting part of this data set that you want to be, be want to be aware of is that um is that it labels zero as 10 so here i've added some code that essentially says that like hey if the label is 10 then you know say that say it's zero so let's you know load another image let's see this guy some of some images as you can see are really low resolution but you can see here that it's like 28 label two and then label eight which is all right this is some really really low res image let's find something good okay that's that's all right so here's some code that essentially you know draws that whole thing out in OpenCV. so we extract the so we basically from each item we get we iterate over each of the box for each of the digits. We extract its left, up, right, bottom coordinates, which is all we need to draw the rectangle around it. And then essentially we put text with uh, its left, top, and... So yeah, then we essentially put, put text in the left, top corner of the digit with, yeah, with, with, with the label. And here's what we can see here. Uh, here's the rectangle drawn, and here are like its you know labels on top of it. And the same trick works with the test data set. And I'm showing you this so that you know you can just have an easier time uh, figuring out how to like address all the values here. So here's like the how it works for, for like the test data set. All the same stuff. Um, you can see here is like label two, label four. Unfortunately, like the drawings don't fit here, but it's okay. And we have like 200 something thousand images so we can say address here, like uh, um, like 200 200,000 image. And yep, it's 332. As you can see here, it's like label three, label label three and label two so so this is a switch and data set and again like it's a really cool data set and the reason why i i feel good about making this video is again because it was so dang confusing to uh figure out how to actually like read all of those labels from the math files so i really hope that you know you like it and it, you know, helps you get started with it. Again, like, uh, I'll leave links to these files with labels in the, in the description below. Just copy them to your drive and then, or like download if you're like on Windows or Linux or Mac or, you know, whatever. And yeah, I think it's it for this video, actually. I, I could also, I could, I could just, yeah, I mean, this is called how I tested for the distribution of the data set and here's the code that essentially sums up uh, all of the images in the extra folder in the train folder in the test folder so about 250,000 unique images so yeah it's a great data set i've trained my own models i, I may put up some screenshots here uh of 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 you know how the model i trained on this data set did so it works it's good and now we hope that you'll have an easier time figuring this data set out. So yeah, smash the like button, please subscribe so that you, you, know, you don't miss uh, future videos and let me know that you like what we're doing here. Uh, if you want to some ways support me, which, uh, uh, which would help me a lot and uh, some ways to support me are in the description below. Thank you so much if you do and yeah, just hope you're having a great day. Um, bye.